What's good, YouTube? It's Wade. And today, I'm going to give y'all some key secrets to make it in the rap game, okay? Now, it's a few ways to make it in the rap game, but it varies from person to person. Like, it depends on your motivation and ambition and inspiration, you know what I mean? Like, okay, so the first way is to, the first thing to do, though, is to decide if you really want to be in the rap stuff, okay? You can't half-ass that, all right? You, you got to put it in the work, okay? You got to be willing to go to them extended, unnecessary, sometimes fruity heights, all right? Now, first thing you do, get in tune with a studio or a DJ or anything that you know you can do to get you started, right? So, then you decide what kind of rapper you going to be, like, you want to be lyrical, you want to be pop, you want to be mumble, or trash, or illiterate, or retard, or brain dead, dumbass, or a storyteller, or, you know, inspirational, or, you know, you got a nice flow, so people mess your music heavy, right? Once you decide that, you got a few options. The first way, to grind, put your music out there, put in the work, promote your music, and you're going to see results. But you know what the thing about that is, it takes a long time. And sometimes, you don't always make it out, you know what I mean? So, you know, then you got to keep improving and get better. See, that, that that's why the first way ain't really as popular, you know, because it takes a long time and all that other stuff. And that's where the second way come in. Now, the second way making it in the rap game, you get you a good DJ, right? And you find a target or targets, like like other rappers that, 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 that they make it in the rap game right now and they blowing up. So, you know what you do? You, you listen to their music, you go to some of their interviews, you check their Instagram, copy and paste, my nigga, copy and paste, okay? Now, it's two ways to get on like this, right? You completely copy off of that artist, but don't say it directly, like, don't own up to the fact that you copying off of this dude, alright? You gotta, you gotta try to copy as hard as you can and try your hardest at the same time to make it seem like you're not copying, right? But it really don't matter, because even if you openly admitted it, people will still support you, and they're going to tell you that you better than the other person, and you're going to believe it like a dumbass, okay? I mean, like, like you should, right? Now, when you're doing this, you got to try to be a better per a better version of that person but yourself, right? Like, like you're trying to be a better version of that person as you, but you yourself, right? But you're a better version of the other dude, but you you as, as yourself, right? But you that, that person, but better, right? And if anybody tries to call you out on it, they hate her, okay? They hate her. They bitch, nigga. Let, let, let them go. Tell them you're going to pull up on them with the Draco with that 3,000 shot clip, all right? Okay, now, another thing you got to do is sometimes you got to flex, okay? Now, you got to flex super hard. Now, I'm talking about flexing with jewelry, guns, talking talking about how you done kill 95 niggas and you catch six bodies a day, all that stuff, man. You, you got you to gotta be 100, right? Tell them that you be shooting at the police. Man, swear that you harder than an inmate at shower time, okay? Okay, that, that, that's how it got to be sometimes, right? So, remember, if anybody tell you, if anybody tell you like that they try to call you out and say that you copying off of that person, don't believe it, don't listen to it. Because you know what's going to happen? Somebody else going to copy off of you, and then you can call them out. And that kind of segues into the third thing now. If you have like a song that gets big, the first thing you do is let your fans gas you up think that you the stuff, right? And I'm talking about, like, a hard gas up. Like, you ready to pull up on that nigga that's copying off of you and get your ass knocked out, right? Another thing you could do is accuse that big name rapper that you copied, I mean, that you kind of was inspired by. You, ac you accuse that dude or somebody else of stealing your style or your flow, right? I mean... Or, you know, you just randomly start a beef with somebody that got a big name or they making it out the hood or something, anything. If they popping, you going to be popping because you're going to be, it's, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be going up. You're going to have internet beef, right? Y'all going to have it. But people will still support you, okay? Even if they tell you, if somebody tell you a hater because you hating on them, tell them they're a hater, okay? But, you know, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, yeah, yeah. Now, your, your name is popping, y'all got internet beef and everybody knows you. I mean, sure, y'all both trash, but at the same time, y'all getting this money, right? I'll give you a perfect example. XX to Kenshin or to Nat, something like that. You see, you see, this nigga Drake stole my man's XX Kentashes. He stole my man's flow, right, from his song. Now, I done heard three songs by Triple X Kentashin, right? Now, as I'm sitting there ready to blow my brains out, 
listening to these songs, I'm like, man, Drake really stole my man's flow on this song. And I'm like, man, I wonder what Drake heard of this dude at. Like, even though nobody heard about this nigga except the past few months, somehow this nigga Drake done managed to steal this nigga flow. Ain't that some BS? I'm thinking, man, why the hell would Drake steal this trash demonic? I mean, why would Drake try to steal my man's flow like that? Out of all the people on the planet, you you want to steal my man's flow, right? I don't get it, but I but I do get it at the same time though, right? Because that's that grade A gas up. See, now he got beef with Drake, and now his name is popping. His name is spreading faster than STDs at Duke. Okay. Y'all see it? Yeah, I'll give y'all another perfect example. 22 Savage. Now I know this young 22. Now, I listened to a few of his songs. They was decent. He, he, he was decent. They, they, they weren't complete trash, but he was decent, right? But that's not the point. He stole... He, 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 he supposedly bitched 21 for his name, right? So 21 had to respond, and they had internet beef. You know what happened with that internet beef? 22 Savage got on 22 is now popping everybody know who 22 is because he was beefing with 21 and that's how you do it in the rap game folks it's that simple just to recap now you could like i said you could take the slow route the hard working route the sometimes you see the fruits of your labor with that but a lot of times you just the dumbass nigga and you need to do, do it the real way now the real way would be like i said you either copy and paste the nigga, or you start some beef. Okay? You hear that? Copy and paste like a real one would, or you start a beef and promote your trash music. Now we all trash, and we all getting this money. Simple. So that's there, there you go, folks. That's how you make it in the rap game today, man. So uh, anyway, yeah, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. We need more people to understand this message. It's so... We would have so many more good trash rappers right now. So much money flowing around if y'all just share this video, man. Like I said, make sure you like and comment. Hi, right, peace.